Hey ladies, Nigerian Chick here, coming to you guys with a review about some new hair that I just got from Valencia Rose. I have in two 24 inch bundles, one 20 inch bundle, and one 18 inch bundle. And guys, I am so amazed with this hair. This is by far the most beautiful texture that I have ever tried in my life. I had to get some new hair because I over bleached the last Belasian hair that I had. I kind of wanted a really light color and since I'm not a professional, I didn't know that you shouldn't bleach hair three times in a week. So I just over processed that hair, completely destroyed it. Like oh, I, this it. hair is an investment. If you want to color it, please go to a professional because I didn't know what I was doing. That being said, I now have a new texture. This is European hair. And to my surprise, guys, this hair came really curly. And I thought, wow, European hair, I expected it to be really silky, have no texture whatsoever. But no, this hair would blend perfectly with my hair straight. I love this hair. Oh, beautiful. Right away, it just moves and thick. I love thick hair. And this hair has given me everything I want and more with hair. The quality is just astounding. This hair, Valencia Rose, thank you. Thank you for finding great suppliers. Thank you for bringing us this glamorous hair because it is just beautiful. I've never had any unprocessed hair like this. I work with unprocessed hair all the time from different companies and none of them even come close to comparing to this Valencia Rose hair. To me, it was worth the wait. I did wait one, two weeks before I got the hair. Um, I know lots of people complain that it takes so long, but it is worth every moment of time because you will not find hair this beautiful. This beautiful, no, you will not. I'm sorry, it's worth every second of the wait. Valencia Rose, thank you so much. This hair is amazing. I'm so glad that I found this company. The hair has never disappointed me. Out of the three textures I've tried, um, which were Malaysian and Brazilian, I feel like the European has the most texture and would blend the best with African American hair. Peruvian hair does have more texture than Malaysian hair, so it's up to you how textured you want to go. Um, that being said, this hair is still flowy, it's still soft, but it does have texture of African American hair. It does move, it's not like kinky to where it doesn't move at all, because I seen some other hair that are supposed to match african-american hair but they don't really move that much this hair has texture i don't know if you can see it the camera but it still moves it doesn't straighten like bone straight my malaysian hair did straighten really straight so if you're going for that maybe get the malaysian but it's not going to get bone straight i mean over time it does get straighter and straighter i've noticed but it's not going to get like perfectly straight and that's what i like because it would match perfectly with my hair. Um, I did switch over my um, serums from the organic serum to my um, cream of nature because I've always had this one, but it wasn't really moisturizing much, but I feel like this hair is so thick that it kind of retains the moisture from my conditioner. So all I really need is this um, kind of polisher and it's by Cream of Nature. This one is more moisturizing and I use this a lot on the last hair that I had, which was the Malaysian hair. So that's really the only thing I've changed. I still use the Organics um, Keratin Oil Shampoo and I still use the Organics Moroccan Argan Oil Conditioner. Those two work really well together and make this hair really soft. I always wash this hair before I install it just to get the full potential out because it's probably been in a warehouse for some time and I just want it to actually 
be how it's supposed to be. So just always wash it, it's so soft and beautiful and I love this hair. As usual guys, I don't wanna make this video super long. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter, Nigerian X Chick. Have a great day, thanks for watching, hope this helps. Hey, I forgot to mention that this is a U-part um, unit. I have the hair sewn onto a cap and I also have the lace closure attached. My hairdresser colored my hair, Miss D. She is in the Atlanta area, so I'll flash her information down there. Um, what else? Yes, lace closure, you need to pluck hairs away for a more natural look. I may do a video on that if people want to see, but there are tons of videos out there explaining how to make a U-part um, unit. So yes, this is a U-part. I did install it by myself. I sewed around the perimeters on the braid. That's all guys, thanks for watching.